Hello, hello. Good evening, guys. How are you? How about your day? How was it? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Maurice. How are you? How do you feel today? Fine. You're tired? I'm okay. fine. But you're fine? Okay. Perfect. All right. So let me see. Uh, good evening, Marina. Good evening, Jose. Good evening, Pablo. Good evening, Norma. Good evening, Claudia. So how do you feel, guys? Good? Yeah. What about your day? How was it? So, so tiring, really busy. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can see that Vladimir is joining. Yeah. So, um, Jose, are you there? Good evening, Vladimir. Let me see. Uh, good, evening, good evening. How are you? Fine, fine. Okay, very good. So, let me see. Pablo, how are you? How was your day? What did you do? Guys, are you there? Well, um, remember that we need to activate the camera, right? You need to turn it on because of that. Because sometimes we are asking uh, someone and you do not reply, right? So in order for us to make sure that you are there and not for me to be uh, talking to you, right? And if you are not there, just let me know. Okay, and if you are doing something else as well, let me know so I cannot uh, interrupt you. Right. So try to turn on your camera because you are in the English class. Try to be focused. Well, we are going to start with today's agenda and we are going to start with the warm up. Then today we are going to have grammar and we have unit two. And today we are going to cover adverbs of sequence and we also are going to talk about vocabulary. And this vocabulary is related to food. Okay, so we also have the speaking time, we have reading time, and we also have um, an educational game. Okay, so let's start. As you can see right here, we have a tongue twister. Okay, so this tongue twister is actually for us to practice the letter SH sound. Okay, so remember, if you cannot participate, let me know. So uh, in this case, I'm not going to be calling out your name, right? So right here, we have this stone twister. Um, it goes like this, guys. Susie works in a shoe shine shop. Where she shines, she sits. And where she sits, she shines. Okay? So Susie works in a shoe shine shop. Where she shines, she sits, and where she sits, she shines. Okay, we are going to go one by one. If you cannot participate, let me know, okay? By replying and say, teacher, I cannot participate today, yeah? So, uh, Maurice, can you please be the first one? Okay. Uh, don't get twisted. Do she work? work. In a short time shop where she shines, she sits, and where she sits, she shines. Thank you. Yes, Maurice. Jose Bernardo. Hey, teacher. Susie works in a shoe shine shop. Where she shines, she sits, and she, where she sits, she shines. Thank you. Claudia. Claudia, are you there? Well, Carla Sofia? Hi, good evening. Good evening. Uh, Lucy works in a 
to shan shop where she shines, she sits and where she sits, she shines. Okay, thank you. Emerson? Susie works in shoe shine shop where she shines, she sits, and where she sits, she shines. Okay, thank you. George? Susie works in a shoe shine shop where she shines, she sits, and where she sits, she shines. She shines. Thank you, George. Carlos Alberto? Carlos Alberto, are you there? Vengo ingresando. Podría repetir. Yes. Susie works in a shoe shine shop. Where she shines, she sits. And where she sits, she shines. Susie works in a Susie chin shop. Where she shines, she sits. And where she sits, she shines. Okay. Thank you. Remember, this one is going to be shines. Yeah, and this one is shoe shine. Shine shop. Okay. Shine uh, shop. Shine shop. Shine shop. Yeah. Okay. Let me see. Uh, Pablo. Hello. Yes, Pablo. You were in a shoe shine shop where she shines. She sit and where she sit, she shines. Thank you. Eh, Vladimir. Susie so work in the shoe shine shop where she shines, she sit, and where she sit, she shines. Shine. She shines. Okay, thank you. All right. So this one is for you to practice the sh and also some words that probably are new for you okay so try to practice it and try to also um investigate right the meaning of the words that you do not know all right so right now let's move and we are going to start with vocabulary okay so as you can see guys we have different words right here from one to eight so we have from one to eight, and we also have definitions. Yeah, what we need to do is that we need to match the vocabulary to the definition that we have on the right. Yeah. So let's see. Let's start with number one. What is reservation? What is it? What is the definition? What do you think? Mm -hmm. Letter H. Letter H, okay. Um, can you please read letter H, George? A situation when I sit on a plane or train or a room at a hotel is safe for you. Okay, thank you. Yes, that is reservation. What about tasty? What is it? How can you define it? Mm -hmm. Letter E, having a really good taste. Thank you. That is correct. So letter E, having a really good taste. That is correct. What about number three? Ingredient. What is the definition for it? Hmm? D. Letter D. Letter D. Okay, and what is letter D? Can you read it? One of the things used it to make a particular food. Thank you, all right. One of the things used to make a particular food. What about barbecue? What is a barbecue? What is the definition? Letter G. Okay. And what is letter G, Carla? Uh, food which is cooked <laughs> on a metal structure overheat. Okay, repeat after me and say cooked. Cooked. Perfect, like that. 
So food which is cooked on a metal structure over heat. Very good. What about number five? Diet. What is the definition of diet? Letter A. Okay, can you please read? Letter A. To eat less or to eat only certain foods because you want to lose weight. Yes, thank you, George. Number six, what is bake? Letter F. Okay. Cook food by putting it in an oven at a high tem temperature. Excellent. Yes, very good. Letter F. What about number seven? Oven. What is oven? Letter B. Letter the B. section below the stove with a door on the front where food can be heated or cooked. Perfect. That is correct. And number eight, what is calorie? Letter C. And what is letter C? A unit to measure the amount of energy contained in a particular food. Yes, perfect. Yeah, that is correct. All right, so vocabulary, okay? Reservation, tasty, ingredient, mm -hmm. barbecue, diet, bake, oven, and calorie. Yeah? Re uh, vocabulary related to food, okay? Restaurants. So let's continue. All right, let's continue. And let's move to the following, okay? So as you can see, we have different pictures and what we need to do is that we need to match um, the word that needs to fill out in each picture, all right? So number one, it says a bar of chocolate, chocolate right? Chocolate, yeah? Now, what about number two? A bottle of juice. Juice. Perfect. What about number three? A can or tin of tomato sauce. Tomato sauce. Okay. So what about um, number four? A container. Of pasta. Pasta. That is correct. What about number five? A jar of olives. Olives. Perfect. What about number six? A loaf of a loaf of bread. Bread. Okay. Perfect. What about number seven? A packet of of mm -hmm. pasta. Of pasta. Okay, so and what about number four? A container of? Potato salad. Correct. Potato salad. And what about number eight? A scoop of? Ice cream. Very good. And what about number nine? A slice of? Cheese. Cheese. Yeah. Those are different containers, right? Different um, also uh, the way that we can call food, right? A bar of chocolate, a bottle of juice. I'm going to buy a bottle of apple juice, right? You can also include the fruit, etc. okay? So now uh, let's move, let's continue. Just let me clear that. Okay. Vocabulary related to drink. Yeah. So right here we have, um, it says that we need to match the following drinks with the containers. We are talking about containers, right? They are usually drunk from. How many other uh, drinking containers can you name? All right, so in this case, let's work with the ones that we have, right? So the first one is a cup. What is a cup? You have it right here, 
this is a cup, right? Yes. So this is a glass. Yes. A glass. Yeah. So this one is a mug. This one is the most common one that we have at home, right? This is a mug. Yeah. We also have this one, which is a pin glass. Yeah. Usually this one is used for beer. Number six, uh, sorry, number five. This one is a shot glass. And this one is the wine glass, all right? So all of them are in order, as you can see, yeah? So now, let's see, we need to match, yeah? We need to match the drink to the container, yeah? So let's see. Um, so vodka is drunk from where? Shot glass. Okay. A shot glass. A. Okay. Letter A or E. 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 All right. What about number two? Beer. Letter D. A pink glass. A pink glass. All right. Letter D. What about wine? Letter F. F. Letter a wine F. A wine glass. F. Yes, letter F. What about number four? T? Letter C. A mouth. Letter C. Letter uh, C. A mouth. Yes. And coffee? Letter A. a. Letter A. Uh, and mineral water? Letter B. Yes, a glass. Yes, a glass. Okay, glass. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. So you see, those are uh, containers. Okay, whenever we have this type of, um, I would say, uh, drinking, right, beverages, so we can use those containers. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure that you have most of them at home. Okay. So now let's move, okay? Let's move and let's talk about herbs and what do you think? Huh? Spices. Correct, spices, okay? So in this case, we are going to, first of all, uh, focus on the ones that probably we don't know, okay? And then uh, we are going to talk about vocabulary as well. Okay, and pronunciation, okay? So let's see, we're going to start with this one. Okay, what do you think in this case, basil is? This one is basil. What is basil? Uh -huh. Albaca. That is correct. Uh, basil means albaca, okay? So what about paprika? Pimenton. Yeah. Correct. So that, that means pimenton. What about coriander? Coriander? Um, coriander? No. Cilantro. 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 Okay. Cilantro. What about this one? Parsley. Parsley? Perejil. Now, yes, perejil, okay? Well, uh, curry, curry. What about pepper? Pimienta. Pimienta, pepper. What about mint? Mint. Menta. Menta, right? Mm -hmm. Rosemary? Romero. Romero, okay, rosemary. Mm -hmm. People sometimes they, uh, their name is actually uh, rosemary, right? Sometimes, and actually that in English is rosemary. Yeah. What about oregano? Oregano, right? That is. Oregano. Yeah. Now turmeric. Turmeric. 
to I'm me. Not... No. Um, well, in this case, this one is going to be curcuma. Curcuma. Yeah. Curcuma. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Curcuma. Okay. Herbs and spices. Okay. Very important whenever you are cooking. Okay. We use pepper, right? We use a lot, I think, of pepper. Sometimes mint could be. Rosemary as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Basil as well. Yes. Basil is really common whenever sometimes you are cooking eggs, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. Let's move on, right? So in this case, what we need to do is that we are going to, first of all, decide which of those are uh, meat, right? Which of those are oh, fish and vegetables? Uh, which of those are uh, fish and seafood? And then the last one, okay? So in this case, guys, uh, let's see, let's start with meat, yeah? So from the list that we have right here, which of those is meat? Chicken. What? Beef. Chicken, okay, perfect. What else? Pork. Yeah. Okay, pork. Okay, what else? Beef. Yes, that is correct. Beef. Uh -huh. Lamb. Lamb. What else? That's it. Okay, what about, yes, number two, fruit and vegetables. Apple. Apple. Lettuce. Lettuce. Cucumber. Cucumber, yes. Olive. Olive. Cabbage. Cabbage. Garlic. Garlic. Onion. Onion, tomato. Tomato. Carrot. Carrot. Orange. And peach. 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 Yes. What about fish and seafood? Let's see. From here? No. What about from here? Crab. Crab and? Salmon. Yes. Salmon. Salmon. Uh -huh. Salmon. Yeah, without L. The L is not pronounced. So we say some okay some okay from here shrimp. shrimp okay or prawns so shrimp is in american english and prawns uh is in british english okay so whenever you see prawns it's the same as shrimp okay um what about this one well nothing right here well this one tuna tuna correct and from here no, nothing, right? Okay, what about this one? Dairy products. This one, milk, butter. butter. Uh, mm, well, no, ham, no. This one, I think that is meat. Um, cheese. Cheese. And so, 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 yes. Yogurt in Spanish, yogurt. English, yogurt. yogurt. Perfect. Ah, yogurt. Perfect, like that. Yogurt. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Entre. Okay. All right. Now let's move and let's talk about adjectives for describing food. Okay. Yeah. So we have, in this case, Fattening. What is the meaning of fattening? So if you say, for example, for example, um, a, a crazy food. Yes, uh -huh. correct. Yeah. So in this case, fattening means engordante. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So fast food is fattening. Yes. Uh -huh. 
So something that actually causes you to gain weight, bread, fast food, um, a lot of things that are fried, right? Mm -hmm. So fattening engordante, healthy, Hello. saludable, heavy, Hello. pesado, something that is heavy, sometimes meat, right? Mm -hmm. Light, ligero. ligero, yeah, that's why sometimes people say, I want something light, right? Even in Spanish, that is a word that we have adopted, right? We say, algo light. Quiero algo light, right? Mm -hmm. So what about salty? What is salty? That is? Salado. Salado, yes, okay. Sometimes people love salty food or salty snacks, right? Mm -hmm. a spicy, picante. Sometimes people love a spicy food, especially I, I would say Chinese food. I think that is a spicy, right? Mm -hmm. What about sweet? Dulce, right? Dulce. And what is tasty, we say? Tasty? Tasty means sabroso, delicioso. Sabroso. Yeah, when you say, oh, this, uh, this hamburger is tasty. You are saying that the hamburger is delicious without saying delicious. You can say tasty. Okay? Yeah? Perfect, all right. Um, so for example, picture one, what do you think? Sweet. Yeah, sweet, okay. Mm -hmm. Do you think that this is fattening? Or no? Yes. Yes, it is. Yes. I think that it is, right, because of, um, of sugar. Yes. What about number two? That is a salad. That is? Healthy. Healthy. Correct. Light. Or light. Very good. And what about number three? Uh, spicy. A spicy. Mm -hmm. a spicy. It could be also fattening, right? Fattening. Yes. Uh -huh. Or it could be heavy, depending on your actually, yeah. Um, yeah. Then number four, what is number four? I like. I... You like, those are pretzels, right? Those are delicious. Yeah. But in a different presentation, right? Because th those are kind of, you know, um, large, right? So um, this could be salty. Salty. And tasty. Could be. Okay, perfect. Adjectives for describing food. Food, okay? Fattening, salty, healthy, spicy, heavy, sweet, light, and tasty. Okay, let's move, all right? Let's move. And now, let's talk about this. Okay. Okay. Um, what do you think picture number one is? Picture number one. Cereal. This is cereal. Number two. Toast. Toast. All right. Toast. Uh, number three. Fruit. Fruit, of course, right? And what about number four? What is this? Yogurt. Yogurt, yes. Number five? X. X, yes. Number six? Pancakes. Pancakes. And number seven? Pancakes. Pastry. Yes. This one is pastries. Yeah, pastries. pastries. Yes, pastries, okay? Um, remember, guys, that pastries uh, mean um, repostería, okay? Repostería. Mm -hmm. 
So in this one, what about this one? Those are waffles. Okay. Okay. Yeah, waffles, right? Those okay. are delicious. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. So what we're going to do right now is that we're going to practice those three questions. Number one, are these foods popular in our country, in El Salvador? What do you think? do you eat these foods yes no and if you eat some you need to mention which ones do you actually eat what do you drink at breakfast huh? we would like to know we are going to practice with um, a classmate okay so I'm going to move you to different breakout rooms I will give you around uh, five minutes okay five to six minutes so you can both share your ideas okay Please make sure that if you go uh, to the breakout room, try to participate and try to speak with your classmate, okay? So let me see, I will, yeah, okay. No yet. No. Nope. No yet. No. Okay. Yes. And just uh, on Sunday, um, sometimes uh, I. Um, oh, I, I don't like that yogurt, but the mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah, but the yeah. all the the uh, the other eat the other food, I, I like it, and I think this is more common. And you, Wendy Maricela, are these foods popular in your country? No. No popular. Hello, good night. Good night. Hello. Ahorita. No, no puedo meterme. Yeah. Creo que Wendy no tiene tal vez buena conexión. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. ¿Lograste, Wendy? Ahorita voy, espérame. Hi, Pablo. Hello. Uh, yes, tell I me. I am alone. <laughs> You're alone. Okay, Pablo. Let, let me move you, okay? Let me move you. Thank uh, you. See. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, 
Oke. Okay. Yes. Can you see it? Yes. Yes. Okay. I sent to in chat. Yeah. Okay. The first question. Are those foods popular in your country? What do you think? Mm. Mm. Almost all. Just the Almost waf all. waffles, not. Yes. We eat pancakes instead, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We eat pancakes, we eat eggs. Mm -hmm. we... we eat bread. Cereal. Cereal, yes. Mm -hmm. For, For break, at breakfast. Only. <laughs> finish <laughs> okay eh, okay eh, let me see eduardo franco permiso por favor yes yes kenya yes teacher okay kenya do you eat these foods yes i eat this kind of food but i don't like uh, pancakes and waffles and the um, patries some kind of patries but not all but I love um, cereal fruit and yogurt are my favorite okay perfect all right just pronunciation Kenya pastries okay pastries, pastries. excellent and then uh, waffles okay Waffles. Waffles. Yes. Thank you. And what about you, uh, Nelly? What do you drink at breakfast? In the summer times, I drink um, coffee. Coffee. Yes, plus coffee. And sometimes I drink um, coffee with milk or cream. And okay. sometimes I drink milk with cereal. Yeah, okay, so you eat most of those food, right? Yes. Yes, okay. And what about you, Carla? What do you eat from this list? What do you eat? Uh, I eat cereal, mm -hmm. uh, toy, toast, 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 eggs, pancakes. Oh, uh, oh pancakes? Pancakes, pastries, and pastries? waffles. Pastries and waffles. And waffles. And fruit and yogurt, I don't know. <laughs> you don't like fruits? No. Uh, Carla, what have, but, okay. Fruits in general or use a specific uh, fruits? All the fruits. All the fruits. <laughs> no, I don't believe you, Carla. Really? Really. We have only only lemon. <laughs> but but have you tasted watermelon, apples, strawberries, and you don't like those? No, because the texture I got it because of the texture. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> okay. All right. So I think that uh you know fruits are delicious but yeah i get the point all right so and let me see uh, what do you drink at breakfast mm, in the last day i drink black tea but uh, i like the cup drink coffee in the morning but okay i can't you can't all right no. <laughs> Okay, Carla. All right. Well, but tea is perfect because you relax, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go back to the main room. Okay, let's go back. 
Yeah. Okay. Thank okay. you. All right. Thank you. Okay, so let me see. Um, okay, let's continue with the class, right? Let me share my screen. Mm, let me see. Okay, so let me ask uh, Juan Jose, what do you drink at breakfast? I drink coffee at breakfast okay. and sometimes orange juice. Orange juice, perfect. And what about you, George? What do you drink at breakfast? Well, um, from Monday to Friday in the week, in the morning, I I drink coffee. But okay. on weekend, sometimes I I drink coffee or chocolate or orange juice. Perfect. All right. Uh, what about you, Claudia? What do you eat from those foods? Uh, I eat eggs, yogurt, or fruit. Or fruit. Okay, perfect. All right. Um, all right, so right now what we are going to do is that we are going to have a reading, but first I'm going to take the attendance because it's already 8.42. Okay, so please say present once you hear your name. So here we go. Carlos Alberto Castro Santana. Present, Miss. Thank you. Carlos Vladimir Rodriguez. Present. Thank you. Claudia Maria Guerrero. Present. Thank you, Daisy Elizabeth. Present teacher. Thank you. Emerson Ulises Monroy. Yeah. Present Miss. Thank you. Uh, Jorge Antonio Sanchez Quiñones. Teacher, present. Pre teacher, present. Yes, Eduardo Franco Núñez. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yes, okay. Thank you. All right. Thank you. All right. Eh, Jose Bernardo López. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan Jose Herrera. Present teacher. Thank you, Karen Janet Granadas. Present. Thank you, Carla Sofia Argueta. Present. Thank you, Kenya Elizabeth Rodríguez. Present teacher. Thank you, Kenya. Marian Scarlett. Yeah, let me see. Okay. Um, Marina Jensi Sandoval. Uh, Mauricio Antonio Velázquez. Present teacher. Thank you, Maurice. Nelly Lilibeth Andrade. Present. Thank you, Norma Patricia. Pablo Adalberto Abrego. Present. Thank you. Tatiana Ivonne Torres. Tatiana. Okay. Wendy Maricela Ramirez. Present teacher. Yes. And Jonathan Roberto Garcia Almendares. Um, okay, all right, guys. So let's continue. Let me see. Present. Thank you, Norma. Yes, I saw Jonathan, but I don't see him anymore. So probably, I don't know. Okay, so let's see. Uh, let's continue, guys. Um, okay, so I need some volunteers. And uh, let me see. Okay, let me. Yes. Okay, we are going to talk about uh, breakfast around the world, okay? This one is considered the most important meal of the day, right? Yes, so in this case, we have everyone knows that eating a good breakfast gives you the best start to the day, yeah? But around the world, there are many different types of breakfast. Now we are going to talk about Germany, Japan, and so on, right? So let me see. Claudia, please help us with Germany. Then uh, let me see. Daisy, are you there? Yeah, yes, teacher. Okay, help us with in Japan, okay? Then, okay. yes, Emerson in Argentina, okay? And the last, please, uh, Jose, okay? 
Perfect. All right. So, Claudia. Hey, in Germany, breakfast is a big meal that people usually eat at home. There are plates of cold meat and cheese on the table, as well as bread, butter, and eggs. People help themselves to what they want, and they often eat from a small board instead of a plate. Of a plate. Thank you. In B. No. In Japan. In Japan. In Japan, the main breakfast food are, are rice and fish. Yes. There's there are several which are cleaner. Clear. Clear. Yes, se me corta ahí la. La lectura. Okay. Pickles. Oh. There, there might, there might make the other side dishes like vegetables, vegetable? vegetable, vegetable, or egg, egg, and the wall. Whole. Wall. Whole. Wall? No wall, hole. 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 For you, people, perdón, people drink, drink green tea and breakfast. Okay, thank you, Daisy. Uh, Emerson. In Argentina, breakfast is more informal. People go out to buy the bread, pastries. Pastry. There are many shapes, pastries. Oh, there, there are many shapes of pastries, and they have a lot of different fillings, mm -hmm. like fruits, cream, or even sweet potato. Yes. A popular drink is a strong type of tea, call it mate. Mate is served in a special cup made from a beach, beach, vegetable call it a growth mm -hmm. and people use it as straight to drinks drink it straw. yeah and the breakfast classic waffles where do they come from belgium mm -hmm. of course people have their waffles with strawberries and cream and even chocolate Chocolate yes. is also part of a popular Dutch breakfast. In the Netherlands, even adults enjoy toast with butter and chocolate sprinkles. Sprinkles, right? Perfect. Okay, guys. Um, so we are going to work on pronunciation, okay? Um, just for you to remember, this one is vegetables, okay? Vegetables, yeah? Vegetables. Vegetables. This one is whole. Como con una J. Whole. Yeah. Then we also have, um, let me see this one. Pastries. Pastries. Paste. Pastries. Yeah. This one, it is um, pronounced popular. Popular popular yeah um let me see what else mm, yeah that's pretty much yeah okay so we have different type of breakfast in germany normally is uh, this breakfast is a big meal imagine it's a big meal that people usually eat at home so in germany at breakfast, they eat meat and cheese, as well as bread, butter, and eggs, right? In Japan, the main breakfast 
rice and fish. Imagine. Uh -huh. Breakfast, right? In Argentina, is more informal. People go out to buy pastries. Okay. It says that they have lots of different fillings. What is the meaning of fillings? Rellenos, right? Yeah, que están rellenos de diferente eh, fruta, right, etc. And the classic breakfast, waffles, okay, in Belgium, okay. I think that this one is kind of um, similar to our country because, I mean, at breakfast, we do not eat fish, right? We do not eat meat. Well, sometimes, uh, no, right? Mm -hmm. So I think that the this one is the classic one, yeah, that we that we have as well. But in our, in our country, we eat uh, pupusas, right? Beans, cream, cheese, eggs. Mm -hmm. Those are the common ones, right? Now let's move and let's go to the book, All right? Let's talk about the book. So we're going to start with a um, role play. So we have Javier and manager Moore. So can you please be Javier? Maris, be Javier, okay? And Claudia, please be manager Moore. Okay, Javier, uh, please Maris. Mauricio? Yeah, I think that, creo que está silenciado, Mauricio. I'm sorry, it's me. Okay, perdón, perdón, perdón. Yes. Uh, sir, I forgot how to process a payment. Mm -hmm. All right. First, you give the options to pay in cash or credit card. After that, take the payment and put it uh, in the rest register on your slide, the card through the card reader. Then the registrar prints the receipt and you give it back to the customer. Finally, the customer signs the recipe and you keep a copy. Thank you. Mr. Moore. Mr. Moore. Okay. The receipt. Right. The receipt. Okay, guys. Look at this. Okay. Um, so the card reader. Yeah, is where you actually slide the card through. Right. You slide the card through the card reader. When you go to super selectos, right? When you go to any different uh, store. That's what you do sometimes. Mm -hmm. You slide, or in this case, the cashier, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's see. Do you ever meet difficult customers? Think about that, okay? Do you ever meet difficult customers at work? Yes or no? Mm -hmm. And then we are going to choose one of the situations below. And we are going to list and describe five steps you could use to deal with that difficult customer. So as you can see, we have five situations. The first one is a customer is angry because his food was not delivered on time. So what can you do to deal with that difficult customer, right? What, what could you do? Then number two, a customer is very aggressive to one of your employees. What would you do, right? A customer says he found a toothpick in his food and that he will not pay for the food. What would you do? Yeah, you need to create at least uh, three steps that you, you will follow. You are the managers, right? of the store, of the restaurant. Yeah, you and your team, you are the managers. Then number four, a customer is calling upset because he received the wrong delivery order. 
what do you do to resolve that inconvenience? What do you do to resolve that issue? What do you do to resolve that problem? Yeah. Number five, a group of customers are getting upset because the cashier is too slow. Yeah, that happens. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's see. We are going to work and we are going to create five teams and I will give you your team number so you can work on the situation, okay? I will give you the situation. Let me see. Um, let me recreate the rooms. Okay, so uh, situation number one, so meaning this one, number one, Jose, Juan Jose, Mariam, and Mauricio. Number two, Jorge, Karen, Carla, and Pablo. Number three, Claudia, Daisy, Kenya, and Vladimir. Number four, Carlos Alberto, Norma Patricia, and Wendy Maricela. And number five, Emerson, and Nelly, Lilibeth, and Marina. Okay, yeah. So here we go. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. The first, uh, first, because the customer is angry, uh, Apollo, the first uh, Apollo, Apollo, apologize. Apologize. Yes. I would tell the client the to apologize for. The... Yes. What are we going to do in this case? Yes, um, and describe five steps. First of all, apologize. <laughs> We create a procedure for the, the customers. Yes. No, no scroll up, Nelly, or yes, it's, 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 it's down, down, yeah. And down, that one. Here, you are here. number five. You are number five. So a group of customers are getting upset because the cashier is too slow. What do you do? I need three three solutions, three possible solutions, okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, what is it mean? Upset. Upset well, means good. angry, huh? Correct. Angry. Okay. You finish? 
Teacher, no me contestan los compañeros. Ok. Let me see, Wendy. Ok, Wendy, um, so you are going to work with Nelly and Emerson. And also, eh, Carlos Alberto and Norma. Well, Norma, I know that you are as oyente. And Carlos Alberto as well. Ok. Ah, another, este, como tipo que se abre otra caja, no sé, otra caja de cobro. No sé, ah, como. Open a new window. Open a new. How do you say? Ventanilla. Yes. Window. Okay, so let me see. I, I will send to you this link, all right? So that link will help you out whenever um, you have some doubts when it comes to vocabulary, okay? So uh, open it, you will see. Yeah. <laughs> Correct, okay? Yes, I do. Yes. That is correct. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. box. Uh -huh. Cash purchase. Cash register. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, I'm open another cash register. Register. Mm -hmm. I have to a uh, cashier. Okay. Finish the trans transaction. Mm -hmm. um, I I give an apologize uh, to customers. Very good. Okay, that is one possible solution, and I think that that one is really accurate. Okay. What else can you do? What? What else can you do? What other solution? Um. Think about another one, okay? okay. To, uh, to the program. And the next step. What did you, you say, Carl? Uh, despedir. No. <laughs> Get up. <laughs> no. Get up, the costume. <laughs> no. <laughs> um... Always, um, ¿cómo sería? ¿Cómo sería esa palabra? ¿Cómo sería eh, en este caso despedir al cliente cuando, cuando ya usted ya resolvió algo y, y se despide el cliente? ¿Cómo se dice? Oye, But in this case, in this, in this case, the customer is aggressive. But we don't know what is the situation. No, o sea, ya cuando ya, ya, ya resolvimos, ¿verdad? Ya, ya solo como cortesía se despide uno del cliente. We, we could give a, a gift. Mm -hmm. For the comp com compense. Yes. Compense. To compensate. Okay. 
to compensate. And at the end, you um you can say dispatch dispatch the customer or just and you say goodbye, right? Mm -hmm. Or you end the conversation and the customer may go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And end the conversation, right? Yeah. Uh, to compensate without D. Yes, like that. Compensate. Uh, customer? Customer. Yeah. Um, customers. Customers. Um, no, in this case, the spelling is incorrect. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. yeah. Customers. <laughs> like that. Uh -huh. Okay, perfect. Okay, let's see a customer calm down the customer, ask the customer what is the problem and how we how, and how can we help you? And how can we help um how can we help okay y póngale instead of you add him slash her. Okay. Maybe he, uh, is he or she, right? Uh -huh. yes. And how can we? Or oh, no, no, they're no. not. At the end. Oh, you. instead of you. Uh -huh. uh, yeah. Him? He, yeah, yeah, him or yes. Her. 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 Correct. Try to find a solution to the problem. Mm -hmm. Then to compensate, say, say goodbye and end the conversation. Okay, perfect. All right, let's go to the main room. Okay, let's go. Yeah. Okay. okay, so let me see. Um, no, we don't have, okay, so. Okay, uh, team three, which is Claudia, Vladimir, uh, Daisy and Kenya, ready? A customer says he found a toothpick in his food and that he will not pay for the food. What do you do in that case? Okay, teacher. First, we apologize to the customer for the situation. After that, we offer to change the main course. Perfect. Um, then we could offer a courtesy dessert. Okay. And, and finally, we offer a discount in his next visit to the restaurant. That's all, teacher. Okay, perfect. That is a good solution, okay? Very good. Thank you. All right. So it, let me see. Team one. A customer is angry because his food was not delivered on time. Okay, team one, Jose Bernardo, Juan Jose, Mariam, and Mauricio. What do you do in that situation? Okay, in that situation, first, uh, I will ask for apologize to the client for the inconvenience. Mm -hmm. and second, uh, we can offer a discount for the next purchase. Okay. And third, uh, if the company policies allow it, the order uh, is free. My God, okay. Yes, that could be a good solution, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Uh, team two, a customer is very aggressive to one of your em employees. Um, yes, George, Karen, Carla, and Pablo. Okay. A customer is very angry. Aggressive. aggressive. Call down the customer. Mm -hmm. uh, Call down the customer, ask the customer what is the problem and how can uh, we help you, him and her. Okay. Try to find a solution to the problem to compensate and say goodbye and end the conversation. And end the conversation. Okay. All right. I think that uh, you can give probably a discount some coupons, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, let me see. Uh, team 
four. A customer is calling upset because he received the wrong delivery order. Mm -hmm. What do you do in that case? Team four, uh, Carlos and Norma. Well, I think that they, they were not in the room, right? Okay, um, team five, Marina, Eduardo, Emerson, Nelly, and Wendy. A group of customers are getting upset because the cashier is too slow. What do you do? Um, we think that, that we can give an apologize to customers mm -hmm. and help to cashier for finish the transaction, um, open a new cashier register, mm -hmm. and training the employees. Okay, all right. Um, okay, I heard uh, on the first line that you say for. You say for in a verb. Lo primero que dijo, lo puedo volver a repetir, Nelly. Give and apologize to customers. Okay, continue. Uh, help the cashier for finish the transaction. Okay, there. So in that case, to finish, okay? <laughs> to finish, okay? Perfect. All right, very good. Thank you. Okay, Thank guys. You. So let's move and let's move to adverbs, okay? As you can see, we have a list, a list of adverbs that we can use whenever we are uh, ordering, right? Like different procedures or different steps that we need to follow. So we have after, after that, before, finally, first. Okay, this one is not first, is first, yeah? First, firstly, later, Next, second, secondly, then, and third. Okay, this one is third. Third, not fear, third. No first, first. Okay. So, and we have rules when it comes to grammar. Okay, so it says that most sequence adverbs, those are sequence adverbs, okay? It says that most of them are almost always placed at the beginning of a sentence and they are followed by a comma. Followed by a comma. And look at the examples that we have. We have first, comma, open your book. Next, comma, add two tablespoons of sugar. Finally, coma, you can enjoy the view of the city. Yeah, so you see we have adverb of sequence, yeah, right here, coma, and then the sentence. And we have an example, a paragraph, right? So you can see how to use them. And Nelly, can you please help us reading this um, paragraph? Um, example. Yes. First, put uh, put some of your favorite ice cream in a bowl. Mm -hmm. Then pour two tablets, tablespoon of yes. chocolate syrup on the ice cream. Next, cover the ice cream and chocolate with whipped whipped cream. And yeah. finally, a sprinkle sherbet nuts on the whipped whipped cream and top it off with a sherry. Uh, and top it off the cherry, okay. Now repeat after me in this case and say uh, syrup. Syrup. Yes, okay. And what is syrup, guys? Como syrup o jalea de chocolate o algo así. Yes, it's like saying como jalea de o jarabe. Como el herchi. Aha, correct. Mm -hmm. Yes, syrup. Mm -hmm. That is correct. And okay, uh, this one, okay. Chopped nuts. Yeah. Chopped yeah. nuts. Chopped, Chopped nuts. nuts. Yeah. Um, well, okay. So now let's move. Okay, let's move. This 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 is just for you to actually um see, guys, the example how we need to use adverbs of sequence, okay. So let's move and we're going to continue with the book. 
all right? So here it says, how to use adverbs and transition expressions, okay? It says that look at the examples in the box and then complete the exercises below, okay? So transition words are used to connect phrases or sentences. They express sequence and progress from one idea, idea to the next. When these words are used, yeah, used at the beginning of a sentence, they are followed by a comma, as I mentioned before, right? So we have first, and we have the example. First, comma, you have to give options to the customer, right? After that, comma, you have to take the payment. Or we can say afterwards. Teacher, and what is afterwards? Afterwards is the same as, as saying after that. Is the same, okay? Después, that means afterwards means después. So you have to take the payment, then the register prints the receipt and you give it back to the customer. Finally, the customer signs. What is the meaning of sign? Firmar, yeah, firmar. Signs the receipt and you keep a copy, yeah? So those are different uh, sequence adverbs, all right? Adverbs, yeah? Sequence adverbs, all right? So we have a short paragraph. We need to add the sequence adverb that best um, goes in this space. And it says, how to create an effective training manual. So we have, what is the first transition word or the first adverb that we need to add? First. First. Okay. First. Coma. Uh -huh, coma. First coma. Okay, read everything till company, uh, please, Nelly. First, you have to complete an analysis of the training needs of your employees and choose the processes you would like to improve in your company. Thanks. After that, mm -hmm. continue. After that, it is necessary to write the content and divide divide it in models or chapters. Yes. Then yes. you need to select the manual style and decide if extra digital content is necessary. And finally, revise the manual and print it. Okay, thank you. Very good, okay? Very good use of adverbs. So now let's talk about pronunciation, okay? So in this case, um, this one, analysis. Analysis. Yeah, this one is revise. Revise, revise. Yes. And this one, uh, processes. Processes. Yeah, processes. Very good. Okay. Once again, just for everybody to remember, analysis. Analysis. Revise. Revise. And processes. Processes. Very good. Okay. But it was good, um, the adverbs that you used. Okay. Perfect. Do you have any doubt, guys? Do you have any question right now about this? No? Okay, perfect. All right, uh, Emerson, help us reading this recipe. Recipe, recipe of the Cuba tea. Uh -huh. Ingredients, water, tea, sugar. Instruction, first bowl water. Then, serve the water in a cup. Next, put the tea in a water. Finally, add sugar. Okay, thank you. Now, repeat after me, Emerson, and say recipe. Mm -hmm. Re recipe. recipe. Yes. Now, this one is first. 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 Okay. First. Yes. And this one, serve. Yeah. Serve. Perfect. Okay. Thank you. All right, guys. Remember, this one is first. Con e, first, okay, 
thirst. And this one is recipe. Huh? Recipe, yeah. Perfect, okay. This was the recipe of a cup of tea, all right? You see? So we have first the ingredients and then we also have the instructions. So we can use adverbs to talk about instructions or steps, yeah? In a recipe, in a training manual, uh, whatever thing that you actually describe, right? Processes, yeah? Mm -hmm. You can use adverbs of sequence to describe processes, okay? Now let's move. And it says, this one is a pizza. How do we pronounce this word? How do we pronounce this word? Recipe. Recipe, okay? Recipe. recipe. Very good, okay? So pizza recipe. Using the ingredients below, how do you make a pizza? Okay, how do you make a pizza? Give me uh, um, four steps. First, second, third, and finally. Okay, think about it, okay? Think about it. I'll give you a couple of seconds for you to think, and I'm going to ask you, okay? I'm going to ask two of you, all right? How do you make a pizza? How do you Fish. prepare a pizza? If you prepare with a... Huh? A arena. Okay, how do you say harina? Oh. Uh, flour, yes, flour. What? Yeah, flour. Mm -hmm. First, you prepare, okay, flour, the flour, okay. Then, second. Uh. Mm -hmm, the okay. okay, so you add the ingredients, okay, there. Tomato sauce. Okay, so you prepare the tomato sauce. Tomato sauce. Okay, yeah. There. And finally. What is in the oven? Okay, put it mm -hmm. in the oven, okay? okay? Very good. And then we need to wait, right? And then we enjoy it. Okay, perfect. Okay, very good. All right, guys. Um, right now, what we are going to do is that we are going to take the first quiz, all right? But this one is about grammar. Yeah, this one is about grammar and it's about a topic that we cover uh, on the previous modules, right? So in this case, um, if you are on the spreadsheet, let me go ahead and go to the spreadsheet, you will see that we have how many and how much, all right? How many and how much? So that is the link that you are going to work on right now, okay? How much and how many? This is a quiz, all right, about how much and how many. The passcode is English, yeah? And this is about grammar, only grammar, because I would like to know if you still remember about how many and how much, okay? So you can take it. Um, I'll give you, let me see. I'll give you five minutes, okay? You will see the timer on my screen. So please hurry up, okay?
I don't. Okay, thank you, Vladimir. It's ready, Miss. Okay, thank you, Emerson. Finish, teacher. Okay, thank you, Karen. All right, so I think that you all probably finished, okay? So we still have 10 seconds, and then we're going to continue with the class. Okay, let's continue, right? Let's continue with the class. Well, this is just vocabulary for you to uh, take into account. Okay, um, we have meat, fish, seafood. This is related to the vocabulary that we studied at the very beginning, right? It's almost the same. Fruit, vegetables, herbs, cooking verbs, the ones that we covered yesterday, right? We also have preparing verbs. We also covered this uh, yesterday, right? This is just for you to, I would say, uh, re-study, right? Everything that, uh, that we have covered so far. Yeah, try to, um, if we don't know a word from this list, try to investigate, right? But not only the word, the meaning, also the pronunciation, okay? Because that is really important, okay? So now let's move and let's take the listening quiz, okay? Let's take the listening. Let me share the sound and let me get the link. Okay, this is the link in the passcode as usual is listening. Okay, open it and let me know once you are in so we can start. Ready. Okay, perfect.
Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay. Ready, Miss. Okay, guys. Perfect. So here we go. I'm going to play this um this listening twice. Okay. If you need an extra time, I will ask. Okay. So here we go. Dad. Yeah, Mikey. Can I have a really good snack? Uh, I don't know. I think it's uh, what time is it? I think it's going on dinner. Uh, it's 3.30. 3.30. Uh, we better wait. Why, Dad? Well, what kind of snack do you want? Candy. <laughs> no, candy is out. Oh, how about some broccoli? No. Uh, carrots? No. <laughs> well, what else can you suggest? Candy. Candy? No, I don't think. I think you better wait. A sandwich? A spinach sandwich? Spinach sandwich? <laughs> Spinach sandwich? <laughs> when did you start liking spinach? Uh, today. Yeah, what about a small sandwich? Okay. Okay, I'll whip it up in a minute. Play with your toys while you're waiting for it. Okay. Here we go again, okay? Dad! Yeah, Mikey. Can I have a really good snack? Uh, I don't know. I think it's, uh, what time is it? I think it's going on dinner. Uh, it's 3.30. 3.30. Uh, we better wait. Why, Dad? Well, what kind of snack do you want? Candy. <laughs> no, candy is out. Oh, how about some broccoli? No. Uh, carrots? No. <laughs> well, what else can you suggest? Candy. Candy? Yeah, no, I don't think. I think you better wait. A sandwich? A spinach sandwich? Spinach sandwich. <laughs> spinach sandwich? When did you start liking spinach? Uh, today. Yeah, what about a small sandwich? Okay. Okay, I'll whip it up in a minute. Play with your toys while you're waiting for it. Okay. Um, do you need me to play it one more time? Yes. Please. Okay. Yes. All right, let me just slow down a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, Mikey. Can I have a really good snack? Uh, I don't know. I think it's, uh, what time is it? I think it's going on dinner. Uh, it's 3.30. 3.30. Uh, we better wait. Why, Dad? Well, what kind of snack do you want? Candy. <laughs> no, candy is out. Oh, how about some broccoli? No. Uh, carrots? No. <laughs> well, what else can you suggest? Candy. Candy? Yeah, no, I don't think. I think you better wait. A sandwich? A spinach sandwich. Spinach sandwich? <laughs> spinach sandwich? When did you start liking spinach? Uh, today. Yeah, what about a small sandwich? Okay. Okay, I'll whip it up in a minute. Play with your toys while you're waiting for it. Okay, ready? Yes? Okay, submit your answers. Yeah, send your answers. Okay, let me check your scores. Okay. Yes, I can see that most of you got uh, 80s and 100. Okay, most of you. Okay, okay. Uh, let's continue. Let's continue with our class, okay? Let's see. Okay. So right now, what we are going to do is the following. We are going to move to breakout rooms again, and we are going to create the following, okay? So it says, you are going to Europe with your team. Yeah, you need to create a paragraph using sequence adverbs describing what you will do on that trip. Yes, so at least 
five sentences with sequence adverbs. Yeah. Okay, describing the things that you will do on that trip. So you are going to Europe, Europe in general, right? So I would like to know what will you do with your team? Yeah, you need to create sentences using adverbs of sequence. Once you are done with your team, once you finish, I need you to move to the speaking time. Yeah, so speaking time, we are going to start with this. You have different vocabulary, okay? That you are going to learn if you don't know. And if you know, you need to mention all of that um, um, pictures, right? All of those pictures that, that you see, you need to mention the name of each one, yes? And then you move to conversation questions, yeah? Do you believe we are what we eat? Mm, maybe yes, maybe no, I don't know, okay? Which food and drink do you regularly eat or drink? And what food uh, do you avoid? What drink do you avoid and why? Avoid means evadir. Mm -hmm. What type of food do you avoid? Maybe fattening, right? So do you consider the calories in your food when you are eating? People sometimes they consider the calories, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, so this one, okay? You are going to Europe. First, you start with this, then you move to this, and then you continue with the questions, right? So here we go. Um, yes. Okay. Where is the class? Uh, Grecia, Francia, Marruecos, no Marruecos, no. Italy. Yes, but we can mention some, some place, iconic place. Hello. Right. By the picket. By the by the fly. 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 Like pick. Then. Eh. Para la maleta, pa. Seco. Repair. The. The package. Repair. Pipa. Back to back to the luggage. Uh, prepare the luggage. 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 The key Ah, goodbye. Third. Okay. Make a reservation. Okay. Third. Third. Uh, first, second, third. Make a hotel reservation. Make a hotel. 
Then, after that, afterwards, after that, after that, after that. There are other places like uh, uh, Palacio de Buckingham. In England. <laughs> or Stonehenge. Uh -huh. Okay. Dress up. A new clothes. New clothes. New clothes. Yes. It is yes. correct. Yep. Okay. And then um, we go to it. Uh, we go to we go to something. So not something. Yes, I see something to eat. We go for something to eat. Mm -hmm. and... So on, on that one, then we go for something. Do. We go for something. Yes, for for something. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. And next, yes. uh, go to trip for the city. Okay. We go. We go on a trip. On a trip. Mm -hmm. On a trip for the city. For the city. Mm, quiero ver. Eh, eh, podemos agregarle en take a pic. And take and take many, many, many pictures. Many pictures. Mm -hmm. And we'll and we no sé si se puede and we'll take many pictures. Oh and we'll take many pictures. pictures. And we will take. We'll and we will take. And we will take. Yes. We'll take many pictures. And finally is the we can go to musicians mm -hmm. or, or, or check out in the hotel. <laughs> um, and finally, uh, go to the hotel. Okay. Okay, we go. We go to the hotel um, at night. Is okay. there when when party <laughs> and go to the party? <laughs> <laughs> okay, but uh, we go to the hotel at night. And, um, after the party. Mm -hmm. Is there when when we do four or two? Uh, I don't know. When we use when we use four or two yeah. in our sentences. Okay. Um, use. Cuando usamos el el four o el two en las in the sentence. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Well, in this case, uh, we use two whenever we have um. Two verbs. For example, we go to uh, eat, or whenever we have, for example, a noun, we go uh, to the beach. We go to play soccer. We go to watch a movie. 
So you see, most of the time, what follows to is a verb. Now, for is whenever we have a noun, not a verb, a noun, and ing. For example, in this case, we go for something to it. You see, that one is a noun. It's not a verb, right? It's a noun. So we go for something to it. We, we go for a walk. Yeah, we go for some hamburgers. We go for mm, some pupusas, okay? Now, for is always followed uh, by ing, but it depends on the idea. For example, um, for, uh, we need to learn English for uh, forgetting more opportunities right but that one is a different topic right because uh, we are mixing verbs and everything mm -hmm. but in this case the common rule the common rule is we use two when we have two verbs yeah and with some expressions right we go to the beach yeah that is really common that we use two mm -hmm. and then in this case, when you go for something, it is for. We go for something to eat. We go for a walk. Those are expressions that are already established. So we need to learn the expressions with two and four by heart. Okay. memoria. Okay? But yes, that is the general rule. Esa es como la regla general. Cuando tenemos dos verbos, siempre va a ser tú. See. In the example that you say, you say before, yes, yeah. uh, we we learn English for getting uh -huh. um, with two. Seria, este, we learn English to English to get. También se puede. Correct. Se pueden las dos maneras. Pero cuál suena mejor? Suena la de to get, right? Aquí mm -hmm. es cuestión de cuál suene mejor. Pero si usted va a utilizar for, el verbo tiene que ir en ing. Y si usted utiliza tú, tiene que ir en su forma base. Uh -huh. Ajá, lo que usted dijo es correcto. Los dos se pueden. Ok. Ajá. Bien. Ok. Por eso okay. cuando dijo for finish, eh, mm -hmm. le dije to finish. Porque mm -hmm. o podríamos haber dicho for finishing o podríamos haber dicho to finish. Pero en este caso, to finish suena correcto. Mejor que for finishing. Okay. 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 And this. Yes. So, what is number one? Okay. What do you think number one is? Grapes. Grapes. Correct. Mm -hmm. What about number two? Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's como pepino. Uh -huh. It's like uh, it is cucumber. Uh -huh. It is a cucumber. And cherry. Cherry. Uh -huh. It's apple. Uh -huh. How do you say apple? Uh -huh. I don't know. Okay. Apple. <laughs> yes. So, uh, no. Go back. Go to the to the translator. Yeah. Mm, ahora dele las flechitas donde ve ahí en esa sí. Ahí. Celery. Celery. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. Pero creo que ese es como el brócoli. No, ese no es el brócoli. Ese es cómo le decimos a eso. Es coliflor. Coliflor. <laughs> Okay, uh, look for cauliflower. Uh -huh. yes. yeah, I think that we don't have broccoli right there. I think there's no broccoli there. I think it's a lechuga. It's lechuga. No, it's sí, broccoli. It's broccoli. The one that's below, I think it's lechuga. Mm. Okay, cauliflower. Mm -hmm. Cauliflower. Cauliflower. Carrots. Okay, carrots. And this lechuz. Uh 
Lettuce, but no, I think that, they, that is broccoli, right? Pero es que, I don't know, maybe. Es que la de abajo que es, entonces, ajá. Creo que esa es una lechuga, pero es un tipo de lechuga distinta que la de abajo. Creo que la de abajo es como romana que le decimos. Yes, and the other one is just the normal one, lettuce. Mm, o que sea broccoli, right? Broccoli, digamos que es broccoli, ¿ok? Yes, number eight. Peach. Correct. Correct. Peach. Rabbit. Radishes. Radishes. Yes. Radishes. No solo radish. Yes, muy bien. Eh, ejotes. Ajá. ¿Cómo se dice ejotes? Uh -huh. Green beans. Green beans, correcto. Banana. Banana. Berenjín. No, sé. no, ok. <laughs> <laughs> ok, berenjín, ok. Albertín. Oh, oh, yes, pero la más común es eggplant. Es esta. Ajá, esa es la más común. Eggplant. Ok. Apple. Apple. Ajá, apple. Watermelon. Watermelon. Peppers. Peppers. Ok, yes. Is, um... Apple. <laughs> An apple. Uh, I think that it's an apple, but it looks like, no, that one como, is orange. Okay. Como pera. No, mm. no, porque orange está mm. abajo. Eh, that one probably is mandarina, ¿no? Um, yo I don't creería. know. Or apple, right? But it is yellow apple, probably. Mm -hmm. Como manzana maría, creo. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 17 lemon lemon uh -huh. 18 lettuce orange orange and only no ajos how do you say <laughs> garlic garlic yes garlic uh -huh. Garlic, that is correct. Okay, perfect. ¿Cómo? Okay, ¿cómo se dice? Dale para arriba. ¿Cómo se decía rábano? Rubbish. Ajá, es... radish. ¿Cómo se decía eh, coliflor? Uh, mm. No sé, pero llevaba flower. <laughs> yes, okay, so, ajá, coliflor. Ah, cauliflower. Yes, cauliflower. Okay, how do you say apio? Se le olvidó. Celery. Celery, okay. Mm -hmm. And how do you say berenjena? Eggler. Eggplant. Mm -hmm. Eggplant. ¿Y cómo se decían elote, eh, ejotes? Green beans. Green beans, ok. ¿Apio? Celery. Celery, ok. ¿Y cauliflor? <laughs> cauliflower. Yes, cauliflower. Ok, very good. Continue with the next questions, ok? Yes, continue with those. We are almost done. Ok, do you believe we, do you believe we are what we eat? Mm -hmm. Um... Yeah, maybe <laughs> because mm -hmm. depend 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 um what type of food we eat um from from our health. Okay, for our health. Okay, from our health. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
en, ajá, Do you believe we are what we eat? Um, I don't understand, teacher. Okay, don't worry. In this case, do you believe we are what we eat means cree que somos lo que comemos? Uh, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. Okay, all right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, could be, right? Because, I mean, um, if you eat healthy, so you are a healthy person. Mm -hmm. If you eat, use fast food, mm, you yeah. won't be healthy, right? If you eat a lot of sugar, you won't be healthy. Mm -hmm. So I think that, yes, we are what we eat. Yeah, that is yes. true. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go back. Uh, let's go back to the main room. Okay, let's go back. Okay, teacher. Yes, let's go back. Okay, so we're almost done with our class. Let me just ask you a couple of questions, okay, before we go, guys. Guys, how do you say berenjena in English? Eggplant. How do you say eggplant. How do you say apple in English? Celery. 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 And how do you say cauliflower in English? Cauliflower. Cauliflower. And how do you say rabano? Radish. Radish, very good. And how do you say chiles? Chili peppers. Uh, peppers. Pe peppers, okay. Yes, okay, peppers. And how do you say ajo? Garlic. 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 And how do you say limon? Lemon. Lemon. Lemon, okay. And the last one, how do you say ejotes? Green beans. Green beans. Okay, guys, we are going to stop right here. Thank you very much for connecting today. We are going to continue tomorrow. The only person that please stay with me, Juan. Okay, the other ones, you may go ahead and rest. Have a good night, guys. Take care. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. guys. Good night, teacher. See you tomorrow. Thank you, teacher. See you tomorrow. Thank you. All right. Bye bye, guys. Thank you. See you. Um. Okay. Then. All right, Juan Jose, this one is uh, the space for us to have the short feedback, okay? okay? So, yes. Then I would like to ask about your, um, your I would say, background, all right? Your background in the English language. I would like to know when did you start learning the language, right? And I would like to know if this is the first time that you are studying with us or if you have studied uh, the the other modules with us, right? Uh, this is the first time with yours. Okay. A uh, few years ago, I tried to start another place, but mm -hmm. I couldn't, I couldn't finish for schedule work. Mm -hmm. Then I start again with English Corporation. Yeah. And I'm here. Okay. All right. So, um, okay. So previously, uh, did you study the English language when you were probably a kid or where, when you actually were a teenager or when you were in the university or um, when did you start the language itself? Uh, when I... I don't know how to say. I was 20, 20 years, 20 okay. years, uh, 20 years ago. <laughs> okay, all right. Yeah, 20 years ago. Okay, Juan Jose. And do you like the language? I mean, uh, what is the main purpose or the main goal that you have um, of learning this, this language? Okay, I have two, two goals. Mm -hmm. um, first, I like the language and always I want to learn English. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to say siempre quise, 
How do you say siempre quise? I um I had always wanted. I had always wanted to okay. study English. Yeah. To study English. And second, um that will help me in my in my job. Okay. Because I have to take some course and there are in English. Uh, three years ago, the mm -hmm. company sent me to Argentina to 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 some course and that was in English. And I understood some some things, but other things I you I didn't understand. Yes. Yes. That mm -hmm. will help me in my in my job. Excellent. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. So now, Juan Jose, um, I would like to know about your experience uh, within our classes, right? So we have been in classes for one week and two days, right? So I would like to know um, what do you think about our classes, right? About this module. Um, I would like to know what do you think about the dynamic of the class? I would like to know um, what do you think about the speaking practices, the listening practices, the grammar quizzes, and everything, right, that you have um, seen so far. Okay, that's I really like me because it's different ways to learn English, different ways to practice English, uh, listening, reading, and practicing, and, and vocabulary, and really like me is so dynamic and, I prefer that way and I like it. All right, perfect, Juan Jose. Now, um, in this case, which is the most difficult skill for you to improve? To improve? <laughs> uh, think in English. It's hard to me, think in English. I have to think in Spanish and after translate. Sometimes I think in English, but the more I think in Spanish first and, and after <laughs> English. <laughs> Okay, well, yeah, you know, that is something really common at the beginning, right, when we are learning the language, but, but as the time goes by, you are going to, um, you are going to improve and you will see that you are going to think just in English, right, but the most important thing is that you need to practice outside of the class as well, for example, you need to have your cell phone in English, right, if you have social media, you need to have it in English, right, once you hear it, uh, probably music, it should be in English, everything, right, so your environment, your atmosphere should be English, even though probably you don't have somebody to practice with, right? But um, you need to go ahead and try to create this atmosphere yeah, with yourself, yeah? So um, I would like to know, do you have any type of hobby? I'm sorry? Do you have any type of hobby? Type of hobby? Hobby? Hobby, yes, I, I play guitar, I play guitar. That's oh, really? Hobby. Okay, yes. perfect. All right. And what do you do to improve the English language? I mean, what do you do to improve your English skills? When you are not in class, what do you do? Okay. I like see movies with in English with subtitle in English. Um, mm -hmm. I can understand understand at all, but uh, I try to join some words some expression to understand what i heard very good okay that is a really good um that is a good what that is a good method i would say uh, it is a method right in which you learn english even though you don't know uh, probably what they are saying right but you need to force yourself because sometimes what happens is that we are in our comfort zone right and if we do not get out from that comfort zone we cannot improve right and the main purpose is you improving right our main goal here with our classes is that you improve because that's the main goal right then um okay perfect now uh when it comes to the platform have you had any issues with the platform with the assignment uh, with the exercises uh no um i didn't have troubles in the platform mm -hmm. um not for now no 
<laughs> pues, no por ahora. I don't know how to say that no por ahora. Yes, not for now. Okay, not for now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, or not at the moment, right? Could be, yeah. Okay. 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 Perfect. All right. So, okay, something else that you would like to share with me? Something else that um, you would like to mention? Um, no, I think just the last Monday, I take a, a book. I have the um, sounds recording and I play and I read the book. I don't know how to say that. La grabación del libro la voy diciendo, la voy escuchando y la voy leyendo. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Eh, y siento que es muy bueno para aprender también. Yes, and also for your fluency. Yes. That will help you a lot with your fluency, with your pronunciation, with vocabulary. Um, it will help you. So keep doing it because it will help you a lot. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. Perfect. So now, um, well, my feedback for you is the following, okay? Um, I do think that you are really motivated because I can see that you participate, right? Once you are able to participate, you do it, right? And I, I really like that because that actually shows your commitment with the classes, right? So, and that is really good. You are really responsible, okay? So you participate and I really like that you participate. Right. Try to okay. participate even more. OK, so you can take advantage of the classes. Right. As you can see, our classes, most of the time you are the one that are speaking. Right. Because we are in the in the intermediate one. But right now you need to start like getting out of this comfort zone because then intermediate two is kind of uh, is a little bit, I would say, heavier than intermediate one, right? So you need to be prepared for that module, right? And that's the main purpose, why we focus on speaking, on listening, on grammar, on you speaking, on you giving me the opinion, right? On you creating your own ideas, etc. So that's the main purpose. And well, um, please keep like participating, okay? Keep that motivation that you have with the language. Keep learning the language in the way that you are doing it. Keep doing what you do, that you play the recording and you read at the same time and do it out loud, right? And do it and redo it, right? So it's it's a matter of practicing, okay? And you will achieve your goal, Juan Jose, okay? Okay, thank you. All right, perfect. So do you have any question, any doubt before we go? No, no, everything okay. is, is okay. Okay, Juan Jose. So then I'll see you back tomorrow. I hope you have a good night and take care. Okay. Thank you. Have Thank a good you. night. Thank you as well. Bye bye, Juan Jose. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye.